another video tutorial on building shiny apps and in this tutorial we will see reactive function in shiny so far we have seen uh, render functions such as render text or render plot or render table these functions are reactive in nature in the sense that if the if there is a change in input variable the um, the uh, expressions get um, re-evaluated or updated based on the change in the input so if we have render plot and um, say for example the user is changing the number of bins or changing the column the plot uh, the render plot uh, function uh, also changes uh, the output um, it reevaluates or updates its expression based on the change in the input so that that's how it is reactive or dynamic in nature another function in shiny which have similar kind of property or the reactive property is actually the um, reactive function so like the render render functions the reactive functions may also have expressions uh, inside it and these expressions become reactive if they are uh, given in the reactive function so what happened what, what would happen is if um, an expression depends on the input uh, variable and there is any change in the variable the effect would also be on the expression in the sense the expression would be reevaluated or updated according to the change in the um, input variable so now the question is why sh where should or why should we use the reactive function one of the reason is what we stated here that um, you know in in order to make the expression reactive um, so that any change in the input changes uh, uh, the output or or the outcome of the uh, function that is when or where we will use the reactive function another uh, good uh, um, thing or the advantage of reactive function is reusability so imagine um, we have uh, um, a dynamic plot um, created in shiny as we did earlier in our videos and there is a column variable which uh, um, uh, which we are using uh, um, user can uh, change the column uh, using the widget and and the plot changes there are certain other render statements which uses this column to uh, you know uh, uh, display the output now uh, what we did uh, is in each render statement we were using this column and evaluating you using uh, uh, using the column variable again and again in in different render statements what we could have done is we could have used the uh, uh, the um, uh, expression once in reactive function and then we could have used the outcome of that evaluation uh, in the reactive function in these render statements so uh, in, in that way the computation happens just once and the result is used in different render statements versus computing the expression multiple times in different render statements so let's see an example that would make more sense and make it um, clear okay so we are in our studio and i have the ui.r and server.r files already um, loaded and we will be using the um, render plot example which we used in the video earlier to produce the histogram let me run the app so we know which which example i'm talking about so this is the one which we uh, used last time and this this same example we will use to demonstrate the uh, reactive function let's see the code so in this code i'm in server.r and if you see that uh, um, we used the input variable var the the input variable var was basically having the um, the column name and what we are doing is here if you see we we used a variable called column c-u-l-m 
and we are evaluating this expression this entire expression column equals as dot numeric and then function of um, input dollar val basically we are taking the input variable var converting into uh, numeric and assigning it to column and if you see we have used it in different render statements the same expression we used it first here and then down in the render plot we again evaluated the same expression and assigned it to colm and used again uh, you know uh, the colm variable so this is a very good example where we are evaluating this expression the same expression two times in two different render statements what we could have done is we could have maybe used reactive function and say we say here colm reactive this is how we use the um, uh, re uh, we make the reactive function and in in this we can evaluate this as dot numeric input dollar fair so now what we have is we have this reactive function which we were uh, we are interest, interested in so that we evaluate this expression here assign it to column colm and now we can use this variable wherever we want uh, in different random statements so we are evaluating it just once and calling it or using it in random statement versus evaluating this expression multiple times in the within the render statement so let me comment it so uh, i commented this uh, expression which we evaluated and we will just use this colm now in our render statements it's just like calling them the way we call them is uh, we use it as a, a function so instead of just saying colm i will say colm bracket you see this is the difference this is the way we call the random function or use uh, the sorry not the random reactive function and wherever it is it was colm uh, where we were using the value of the colm we will put colm uh, braces so we don't have here let's see where we have again let me comment this here and we were using colm here let put let us put the braces okay then we have another colm here let us put the braces okay we have another one here okay let's go further okay we have one more here i put the braces and that's it so if we run this um, updated server.r we should get the same graph and it should everything should be same uh, we didn't make any major change except that uh, instead of evaluating these uh, expression this expression in in render text and render plot i put the same expression in react in reactive function and just call the reactive functions so we should have the same output and we have the same output so right now this pedal length and we can make it sepal width 